people oftentimes when they think about Jesus, they don't think of him as a prophet. But four times in the Gospel of Luke alone, he talks about the destruction of Jerusalem. We have military men from the Roman side, from the Jewish side, going out onto the lake, and the end result was pretty disastrous for the Jews on the losing side. It's going to be deemed one of the most significant events in world history. A lot of skeptics said for thousands of years, oh come on, how could Israel be the epicenter of human history at the end of time? Because it didn't even exist. There's only one nation in the history of the world that's ever been born in a day, and that's the nation of Israel. the end of uh, the Second World War. The Jews, they come out of concentration camps with no place to go, and they, they go back to, to Israel by, by the boatload. We are fighting for the very existence of a Jewish state in the Middle East. After Israel comes to life, this boat is found. And on my desk there was a note saying, a boat possibly ancient was found in the Sea of Galilee. I said, no chance. Uh, you will find an ancient boat at the Sea of Galilee. Well, believe it, it's ancient. Straight away recognized it as first century. We got here a boat from the times of Jesus. I mean, it's something the whole world is waiting for. I have proven that this is the type of boat mentioned in the Gospels. This is the only one there is. 2,000 years ago, these were the boats that the fishermen utilized on the Sea of Galilee. So that when Jesus said, let's go out on the boat, these were the boats they took. Here is this boat that is destroyed when Israel is destroyed. And then now, only with the foundation of the State of Israel, you find this, this incredible artifact, this incredible light on our past. I think it is a remarkable thing now.